Jesus. Told you not to have that in the... <laughs> put, put the onion back. It needs it to be in the rightful place. Smooth. So, hey, you want to know why I brought this? Because this is far more interesting than the film we just watched. <laughs> yes. This is an onion wearing a Viking helmet. That's interesting. It's a dog toy I got from like some mall in some small town somewhere. This is interesting. I forgot I had it. You want to know what wasn't interesting, Matt? This film. That's A Nightmare on Elm Street, the remake. With uh, the Freddy that I think he looked like the clone makers in uh, Star Wars 2, Attack of the Clones. Hmm? These guys. What? I'll put up a picture. Okay. And you think he looked like... (laughs) <laughs> the Beast from the 1980 Beauty and the Beast television show. Here, yes. you, you put him up. That is wildly right. esoteric. <laughs> he does! Look at, the, look at this. Alright, here's a picture of Freddy. Fre- Freddy... <sighs> now here's a picture of Robert just, Englund. He just looks... Now here's a picture of Donald Trump. All together. I'm just telling you guys. I'm just... I'm saying. This is huge. <laughs> what? I just, like, I don't know what to say about the way, about anything about Freddy in this movie, because it's like, it all comes across, like, wrong, but not terrible. It's like, this is wrong for Freddy, but in a way it also kind of works. Yeah, he's not a child murderer, he's just a child molester in this one. To be fair, that's what he was supposed to be in the first one, and then they're like, mm, that's a little too dark. Yeah, they're And I think they made the right call on that one, honestly. What, should, not doing it? Or yeah, he should have been a child murderer. Yeah, that's because that's what he does is murder. Because, okay, so this, and also Halloween, and to a degree also the Friday the 13th remake, not as much. The Friday the 13th remake still had a little fun. But this and the Halloween remake are trying to be dark reboots. But it's a Ugh. horror movie. It's dark enough already. Like, this is about a magical man that tries to kill people in their sleep. That's not not something you can He's do. He's magic man! Yeah! That's not something you can do dark and gritty. I wanted more catchphrases. I had more power gloves. More power gloves, man. I mean, because even, like, the first movie has camp. Oh, you want to know what movie has a lot of camp? (laughs) The the Friday the 13th series. There's a lot of camp in that one. (laughs) Get it? Get it? But, um, (laughs) this... It takes place in the camp. I'm so tired. Matt, I'm so bored. This movie was boring. Boring. Because, apart from Freddy... None of the characters are interesting. The main character, what's her name, Nancy? Nancy. Is it Nancy again? Ah! Nancy is the only character that has the same name as right. she does in the first film. And she is, is like, all right, so take Christian Bell. Christian Bell, right, from the the vampire movies. New Dawn, First Blood. Christian Bale is Batman. No, what's her name, Christian Bell? Cr- Cr- Kristen Stewart? Stewart! <laughs> that one. <laughs> Kristen Stewart. You were not even close. So Kristen Stewart. Imagine that, but just a little, add a little bit of bad on top of that. So like no acting, no acting skills. At one point she cries. I think that's the most emotion she has. I'm gonna be honest. Kristen Stewart would have been a better choice for Nancy. You think so? Yeah, because I mean, they're both mouth breathers. <laughs> well, Freddie was too. All right. But that's because he doesn't have a nose. But I mean, all the kids in this look like they're from college, like, daytime television, late college. <laughs> oh, Kristen at the beginning. Uh, no, Chris. That's her name. Chris. Chris. Uh, she was wearing full cake makeup at all times, and her boyfriend had mascara on. It was it was really funny. Yeah, just deep mascara all all up in his eyes. Yeah, no, these are. It's like. This is what teenagers are like. No, it's not. So take like the slow pacing of like a Twilight or something, and okay, Twilight's hilarious. Okay, but it, it, it I had... watched Twilight a thousand times before I watched this again. 
But this one, it's just, it had that slow pacing, no music. It's just boring. Man. I want, I want more, I want camp. Yeah, it's... <laughs> there you go. It's, let, it's, let there be light. That's a quote from God. You can quote me on that. It's too dark. Like, it's trying to be dark. I it's didn't not... see the characters halfway through. You're right, you know, they needed more lighting. Not like that. Okay. I mean, like, tonally dark. It's trying to be dark. It's not naturally dark. No. Like, it's New a... Nightmare was a lot darker than even the first Nightmare on Elm Street, but it worked. Yeah. Not the New Nightmare. I like that one. Yeah. That was good. Uh, I, I mean, you can watch that review. Uh, but the... And they have that stupid blade thing too. Like I was asking, I'm like, all these car- all these movies from the early 2000s have that like weird shutter sh- shutter stop like jump thing where he's like, Coo-coo-coo! and apparently that's from Blade. You said so. I think or something I is you can check that check that in post. Yeah, but it's yeah, it's just bad. It's just so generic and such a like. Trying to be dark remake, but it it just doesn't work. And I don't know the plot at this point. I don't know Freddy's backstory at all. They haven't told me in every single movie. Matt, how many of these have I watched? The humanity. Wait, is it over? It's over. This is the last. This is the last movie. It is. We're gonna do a conclusion video. Yeah. Hey, Matt. I still have to watch it. Too. You still have to watch Halloween too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie. But guess that what? Probably sucked. You can see the review of it. It was out yesterday. It was out yesterday in October. I, I mean, it's October. It is October. It's October. I'm not shorts. No, I'm wearing jeans and oh, it's sure is chilly in here, Matt. It's Texas. It sure is mildly lukewarm in here, Matt. <laughs> All the leaves are dead. <laughs> they don't even turn brown. Or like orange, they just fall off. Uh, any, any final thoughts, James? On Nightmare on Elm Street, the remake? Do you have any? Because no. I have the closing line. Well. Guess what, Matt? Freddy's dead. Any final thoughts on the Friday the 13th French or Nightmare on Elm Street franchise? You got me doing it. <laughs> Any final thoughts on the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise? Entertaining uh, through most of them. This one was bad. But the rest were entertaining, watchable, an interesting way to meld uh, like camp into like a serial killer thing. It, I, th- I enjoyed it. Like, I think it's altered my, pers- my perspective a little bit though because like... If I would have watched, like, New Nightmare Cold Turkey, I would have kind of been bored. But after watching, like, five, <laughs> anything was good. <laughs> so I guess you've made me a little bit more tolerant to the same story over and over again, man. Thank you for that. I didn't like five. Like, honestly, okay, I would recommend you watch these one, three, six, New are, Nightmare. Are we doing, like, a... Are we, <laughs> Are we doing, like, the Star Wars, how you're supposed to watch it in yes. a specific order? Okay, watch, watch Nightmare on Elm Street 1, Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Freddy's Dead, New Nightmare, then watch Elm Street 2 as its own separate reboot. That was a weird movie. Yeah, it didn't fit in with the others, but it was still okay. Yeah. Skip 4 and 5, they were terrible. What happened in 4? Was that Dream Warriors? No, we, no that was get... 3. Three was Dream Warriors. Oh, okay. I'm like, they gotta watch Dream Warriors. Four was Dream Master. What happened in that one? I didn't even... I don't even remember four. The faces tore him apart at the end. Oh! And not Christian Slater was there. Oh, gosh. That one was boring. Oh, not boring. That one was uh, forgettable. Yeah. Forgettable. I like the Dream Warriors. That one was... That was was good. At points. Until... until, Until... Until the first, it was prime time. The first 45 minutes. Let's see what else. Um, hmm. One was good. One was very good. Yeah. One was one was an excellent film, I thought. Well, yeah. Uh, if you like just 
watch out. There's going to be another remake, I'm telling you. I think we're over. Because there was a period of time right when this came out where there were remakes of every slasher movie. Yeah, uh, Prom Night, uh, Prom Night, Silent Night, Deadly Night, Silent Night, Deadly Night. When a stranger calls, like honestly, you like people have called the Nightmare on Elm Street remake pointless, but like it has more of a point than freaking My Bloody Valentine the remake. My Bloody Valentine uh, is that one? Uh, was that when a pop punk, a pop punk singer goes rogue and kills people with guitar strings? Uh, no, you're thinking of, uh... Oh, that's, that's Guitar sl- String for my Valentine. Sl- sleep, sleepover, sleepover Massacre 2? Sleepover... <laughs> Dude Bro Party Massacre 2. Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. That's a great movie. Watch that. <laughs> that is a good one. It has Mark from The Room. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Uh, that's my final thoughts. What's your final thoughts on the series? I liked it. Give some insight. Give them some critical feedback, well, Matt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a conclusion video tomorrow. Oh, you can find out my thoughts then. Well, thank you, James, for watching these with me. Made it slightly more bearable. You're welcome, Matt. Freddy's dead, everyone. Freddy's dead. Harambe never died. Harambe's dead. <laughs> no. Memes oh. are dead. No, not Nihilism's not dead. dead. Nihilism. Oh, I love you. <laughs> memes. Uh, memes are dead. Uh, Mufasa's dead. No. <laughs> um, Batman's parents are dead. No. Oh. Uh, I'm dead. James is dead. <laughs>